Welcome to the Reggae Archives and come follow me and we'll check out what's downstairs. This is the first Jamaican record and also Prince Buster's first record, O Carolina by the Folks Brothers and it's autographed by John Folks who wrote it. So this is the Reggae Library. And these are some of the books that I've written about Bob and reggae history. These are 140 cubic feet of clippings. And then there's boxes filled with Bunny Whaler, Fella Cootie, Peter Tosh, Ziggy Marley, and five boxes of interviews that I've done. This is all reggae magazines from around the world, uh, arranged alphabetically and then chronologically within each title, and a big section of uh, Japanese reggae magazines. And I bought the first issue of Rolling Stone the day before I shipped to Vietnam in November of 67, and I subscribed right away. So I have a full 47-year run. Why do I have a Jamaican Barbie? Because Bob's on the box. And this is uh, one of two beaded curtains that were made in Saigon about 10 years ago. I call it the Rasta Thinker. I mean, how many people can you just see the hair and know exactly who it is? This is the most valuable piece in the archive because it holds hundreds and hundreds of hours of unreleased Bob Marley tapes and t things related to Marley. These are the board tapes of the One Love Peace concert tapes of the Smile Jamaica concert and the announcement of the assassination attempt two days earlier, the Dream concert with Stevie Wonder, uh, the concert in Milan where um, he played to the biggest audience of his life, 110,000 people. So this goes all the way through 1978. These are live shows, alternate versions, demos, rehearsals, interviews, basically the unreleased history of, of Bob's life. And these are five of the seven Apollo shows, both nights in Zimbabwe, Gabon, um, the last five shows of his life, the announcement of his passing, the funeral, the tribute shows, and then the Whalers Band continuing on, and my interviews with people involved in Bob's life continuing on right up until yesterday. This is everybody else. This is his mother, his children, the I-3, the band members, his lawyer, his personal assistant, his cook, uh, the Lee Jaffe interviews for the book I did with him called One Love, and uh, Andrew Tosh. You know, people, people who were really very, very close to Bob. This is the reggae decompression chamber. <laughs> Thank you.